Welcome back to another epic comparison, and this time we are comparing two aircraft serving this all-important and largest single-hour market, but with a twist. In the single-hour market, the market is no longer limited to just Airbus and Boeing, with plenty of new players from other countries looking to make their mark in the aviation industry. We've got the Canadians here and the Brazilian there, but so far, only two countries have managed to build aircraft on par in size with Airbus's and Boeing's popular A320 or 737. In today's comparison, we'll be comparing a newcomer to the good old option in the market, the new C919 versus Boeing 737 MAX. But before we start, let's have a look at the interesting birth of these two aircraft. In 2006, following the relatively successful launch of Canada's own C-Series jet, the first new single hour launched in the 2000s with the intention of breaking into the aviation duopoly, other countries also eyed launching competing single hour products of their own. China was one of the first, launching their new single hour in 2008. They called it the C919, with huge hopes that this new single hour with more fuel efficient engines would propel them to break into this market. Airlines turned to both Airbus and Boeing for new, more fuel efficient single hour aircraft. Airbus was first to respond with the NEO program, though Boeing felt their 737 next generation had little competition. Eventually, pushed by the interest of Boeing's own customers, Boeing finally launched their counter-response to these new fuel-efficient single hours. Following Airbus' strategy to upgrade their existing and proven product, they launched their 737 MAX, a re-engined version of the popular 737 aircraft. And so with this, the future Boeing product was set to compete with new, more fuel-efficient newcomers. But then is the newcomer a better aircraft? And has China hit it with the C919? Well, stay tuned to the end of this epic comparison to find out. But before we do, if you're new to the channel, a warm welcome and stay tuned for more epic comparisons and detailed analysis on the way. Hitting subscribe would certainly go a long way in spurring me to make more such great videos, so do stay tuned. Right. Let's kickstart this epic one. Starting with performance, the new C919 isn't off to the best start. Seating 168 passengers in a one-class layout, carries at least 32 passengers less than the highest density 737 MAX 8 configuration. Also, the MAX 8 flies further, with a maximum range of 3,550 nautical miles in a 2 class 178 packs layout, compared to 2,999 nautical miles of range for the extended range C919 variant carrying 158 passengers in a similar 2 class layout. All in all, despite its age, the MAX still offers better performances compared to new competition. Moving on to engines, the main area where all fuel saving benefits come from. Both feature the latest generation of engines in the single hour market and are actually powered by very similar engines based on the same technologies and power plant architecture, the CFM Leap engines. However, as the MAX is the oldest airframe in the single hour market, with its limited ground clearance, CFM has to shrink its engine overall in order for it to be hung under the 737 wing. Thus, the two engines are of different sizes, with the Leap 1C engine powering C919 being 77 inches in fan diameter, and the Leap 1B engine powering 737 MAX being 69 inches in diameter. This causes a decrease in pressure and bypass ratios, though does reduce weight and drag, which which brings us on to efficiency. In terms of efficiency, this should be the main selling point of the brand new C919. 
However, during development, there were some hurdles which hindered the aircraft from reaching its performance guarantees. Still, Comac is promising fuel burn reductions of 14% compared to previous generation of Tingalao aircraft. However, aircraft like Boeing's Max have also reduced their fuel burn comparatively, which means that any advantages for the new jet is taken away. The Max burns 2.28 litres per passenger for every 100 km flown, and the C919 isn't far either. In terms of cabins, here is where the new C919 actually beats the established Boeing product. The main advantage is its wider airframe, allowing for 18 or more inch wide seats and the capability to take LD3 containers in the lower cargo hold. It also has new larger windows and a wider aisle with more overhead bin space. Boeing has updated its 737 MAX with the sky interior. Thus, both feature the latest generation of mood lighting, wireless and connectivity services. However, as it has a smaller cabin, not only does the 737 MAX have narrower seats and aisles, but also hilariously small toilets and cramped galleys for crew to work in. All in all, the C919 has a more modern cabin with a nicer look overall. Advantages and Disadvantages The MAX is a popular aircraft based on the dependable 737 series. This should give it an edge in reliability and maintenance costs when the MAX eventually flies again. Also, Boeing should be able to match the low price of C919 and make more profits, as the MAX costs around 5 billion USD to develop, compared to 10 or more billion for the C919. The MAX also delivers the same high level of fuel efficiency compared to all new aircraft. However, as the FAA now mandates pilots to go through simulator training to transition over to the MAX, any cost reduction promised in seamless pilot transitioning is lost. Thus, the C919 with its more modern cockpit provides a nicer working environment for pilots, while passengers enjoy its nicer cabin. The Chinese government is sure to also provide huge subsidies for any interested customer, making the C919 more appealing. However, the aircraft has faced numerous problems in development. The entry into service now delayed many times till 2021. Furthermore, the reliability of this new model from a new manufacturer isn't proven with no real benefit in either performance or efficiency. This makes it hard for airlines to justify the huge risk that introducing this unproven aircraft type into their fleet will be sure to bring. And if there is any proof of this, it is the number of orders from airlines. The C919 has received only 305 firm orders. When factoring in options, it works out to 1008. This compares to the huge order book for 737 MAX, with it receiving 5737 orders. Furthermore, the MAX is a true worldwide airplane, while the C919 is mainly ordered by domestic Chinese airlines. So then, is the new C919 really a capable and formidable competitor to the single out mainstream? Well, the answer is no. Sorry Comac, but the C919 simply doesn't deliver any real benefit compared to more established rivals that would justify trying out a new aircraft from a new manufacturer. All in all, the upgrades on 737 or in fact 8320 will extend their leadership positions in this huge single out market well into the future, making it tough for new players either from China or Russia to break into this market. Do you agree with this verdict? And if you don't, why so? Comment below. Thanks for watching till the end of this interesting one and till we meet in next week's comparison, wishing you, as well as everyone, a truly clear sky ahead.